Hello everyone, this is Fabian, the product manager for GitLab Geo, and I just recorded a video explaining the Geo roadmap using the plan epic overview. And it's great, it supports sub epics now. It has been really improved over the last iteration, so thanks so much for it. But I have a few things that I didn't quite understand while going through this exercise over the last few hours. And I thought I'd just share this in like a five minute, hey, these are my findings and then I'll, I'll try to find the issues. But yeah, if you want to listen to me, this, this is it. So let me quickly share my screen. Okay, so this is the, the roadmap overview and it features stuff here that is labeled group geo which makes sense. And just visually, especially when you work with high level epics, it feels like most of the screen space here is actually taken up by these milestones. And I at least have not really figured out how I can remove some of the milestones that I don't really care about. So this one here, or this one, or this one, it's like, I think I can't really do this with milestone here because you know that yeah, I don't think it's supported. So it was a bit strange. Um, so yeah, like reducing the visual space here would be quite nice. Then and like this is really something I tried to find in the documentation, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I have these sub epics, and all of them have this different color, and I am not really sure why. To me, this really looks as if they were inactive somehow or not really something I want to talk about, but that's not really true. And I couldn't find out how I could change the color to be the same blue here. It's really, like, I'm, I'm baffled. I thought it would maybe be because um, some of them have items that are in the backlog or some of them have unweighted issues or, but I tried and I kind of failed and I, I wasn't quite able to figure that one out myself. So yeah, and, and the other thing is I, I set, so the inheritance of, um, you know, like figuring out how long is this epic actually going to run based on the issues in it. That's great, but it doesn't work for me, mainly because I have issues where, so let's say I have an epic and the epic has many individual iterations. Maybe I should break it down more, not so sure about that. I have maybe three issues that are in the current milestone, and then I have another couple of ones for the next milestone. And after that, I have a few that are in the backlog where I'm not quite sure where to put them yet. And so that expands the epic, I think, into infinity. And so I need to manage the dates here very manually to actually get the view of this is roughly, for example, how long I think this will take here. You know, I, I think this will go until until September, but I haven't really specced out some of the, the details on, on this high level. There are some sub epics here. So that's maybe, um, you know, a little bit tedious. And then one of the main issues that I've had is I cannot move these. It's impossible to say, okay, extend this to that date, extend that to this date. That would be so nice. It would make it so much more natural to actually have a dynamic view here. I mean, a lot of this, it's essentially a static rendering of a Gantt chart that I can now expand and collapse a little bit is how I, I perceive that, which is totally fine. Um, but it would be super, super great to say that, well, actually, you know, like, I don't know, maybe this will start here, but I can't do that. And then the last, yeah, kind of in this same token here, it's like, I would like this to go in a different position. So I would like to move it down. I can't do that. So I kind of need to live with the layout as is. And that makes it harder for me to sort of com compile a compelling roadmap. So other than that, honestly, with sort of a lot of legwork, I now have this in a state that I think is actually pretty okay. So it was maybe a bit easier than I anticipated, but it's still, I think there are quite a few sort of UX things. Many of these are probably already captured, but I thought this is just an example of what I 
what I do and how I use it. And I really try to dog food the plant features in Geo because I think it's super important and super helpful. And thanks for all of your hard work. That's it. Bye.